guys welcome back to my channel this is Luna here I'm a real estate agent here in Philly so in today's video um, I've seen you guys posted a few comments in my last video to ask me to talk about um, your first week slash first month as a new real estate agent so in this particular video I'm gonna share my journey I am a real estate agent for about almost three years now and I'm based in Philadelphia before I get into the video I want you guys to know um, something that really helped me with my real estate exam is prep agents uh, website so I do have a promo code down below so if you guys are thinking about preparing your exam be sure to check that out so in today's video there are going to be two parts and the first one I'm gonna share with you my journey and you know how it all happened to me how I was feeling and then in the last part of the video it will be the five tips that I'm gonna give you guys that help hopefully it's gonna help you guys get through that tough time so if you guys follow my journey you know I got my license in 2017 in the summer and when I first initially got my license I, I was at State College um, so I joined a brokerage uh, KW Keller Williams State College and I was there for about two months and then I moved to Philadelphia so when I was there at there it was like a very kind of family oriented very friendly friendly uh, brokerage it's a big franchise it's with Keller Williams and my broker everyone is really welcoming and initially when I went there everyone is a lot older um, and I just felt like People are so nice, they're cheering you off, and I'm one of the youngest agents there, but I was completely lost, and I was trying to, you know, show how motivated I am. I told my broker at the time, I was like, I wanna be an independent agent, I definitely need an office, and so, you know, I was claiming a lot of responsibilities. I was talking to a lot of people. I was listening and I, you know, sometimes I even felt like jealousy when I see people are so busy closing deals. I know there are a few top agents. I see them buying like big Apple computers and put on their little office space and I see their different signs and you know, it just looked all fancy to me and I have no idea how I'm gonna get there. But deep down, I know I will be there someday. Um, so I also made a first cold call video where I started prospecting because I thought that was the way to go. I watched so many YouTube videos. That's what every real estate YouTube guru was telling people to do. So I grabbed a phone and I started dialing for sell by owner. And little do I know, you know, using the script, Kevin Ward script, I actually got my first listing appointment and I was so overwhelmed and I actually filmed everything. So I give it to uh, Joe, it was on his channel and then he posted and you know, I was like, oh my God, that's it. You know, that could be my career. It's gonna just take it off like that. So I actually went to that listing appointment and I did not get the listing. And before I even go on the listing appointment, I was freaked out. I went to my broker and my broker doesn't even have a, like a prepared listing presentation that she can give it to me. So I had no idea what to do. And I went to the seller's house. I was just basically talking to them and everything they say, I'm like, oh yeah, great, yeah. Um, you know, and just kind of let the conversation go. And they actually ended up selling their house after two weeks. So everything just seems a lot tougher. Um, definitely I was not well prepared. I did not close any deals my first two months when I was at State College. So when I made a move to Philadelphia in July, I talked to my other broker at State College and she happened to know somebody in KW Philly on Broad Street. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be a single agent. I'm gonna join a team. I need someone's help. Um, you know, clearly by myself was not enough. So I joined that brand new brokerage and KW Philly is beautiful and the great de design and agents are so a lot younger. It's like a very different vibe but I felt very intimidated. So when I went there, I talked to uh, Brian, I think it was a Brian, cause he was the recruiting broker there. So I told him I wanted to interview a team leader. I want to be joined part of the team. So I sat there at the table and then he told me there are different teams. And then I actually picked a team at Center City listing. So I met the broker, my previous broker, David Snyder. And I had a conversation with him. I was like, that's it. Like, I like that broker. He's very settled. He's like calm. And you know, our personality does not crash. But they were looking for a rental agent at the time because 
everyone's so busy he doesn't really have you know enough leads to give and then but they manage a lot of listings rental listings in center city so it's like okay no problem you know i don't know the city and i want to make some quick money so i started becoming a rental agent for the next like three to four months and in that three to four months I didn't really sit in the office. I basically was out in Center City and just showing different rentals and you know and then that was finally I started feeling like I, I, I was actually can put on in action. Like my energy, my motivation I can actually put in somewhere. So after three months I closed twelve rental deals and I made about five to six thousand dollars. And I remember I was I started YouTube, like filming everything, sharing my journey, and I posted something on my channel. I was like, Oh, I was so proud of myself, you know, my first three months doing rental, I closed five thousand dollars. And to me, being a real estate agent was my first ever job and I felt like that was a lot of money. That's a big accomplishment. And someone they comment and then they said five thousand dollars that's not a lot of money at all like in a lot of other cities that's like a commission check and i'm like damn like maybe i should become like an agent actually can sell and buy houses um i remember one time i went to um my broker's assistant to get my check which is like three or four hundred dollars and i was so excited you know i was like waiting there to get my check and i see my co-worker's check it was like two thousand dollars and there was like one more zero on it and I'm like, wow, you can make that much money by helping people buy a house? I did not know that. So at that time, I, I feel like I was getting somewhere, right? Like I'm getting commission, even though it was a couple hundred dollars. But then I felt like my energy could be used somewhere else that's a lot more efficient and it can help me get more money. And I was thinking, so I reached out to my friend Teddy Smith on YouTube and he was filming and then they were starting our co-calling group together. So I joined that co-calling group. At the other side, I was also telling myself, maybe it is time for me to kind of switch to another company because I do want to be an independent agent. I do want to start buy and sell real estate. And I also speak another language, like I speak Chinese. Maybe I can put that into advantage as well. So I start interviewing broker again, and then I finally find my current brokerage, which is where I am at right now. So I found Joey, and I remember the first time I met him, and I was really questioning myself, like, is this broker the right one? Because he's so quiet, he's wearing glasses, he looks a little nerdy, is he really going to help me? And I wasn't sure if I made the right decision, but I interviewed another Chinese broker. He was giving me my split for 70-30, and Joey was giving me like 80-20. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm coming to Canon. So... Then I switched to Canon in 2018 and my first week slash first month with Canon Realty is very different. Like I remember when I first joined Canon, no one's really working because it's in January at the beginning of the year. Everyone is on vacation. Joey was in China. I felt such a disappointment because I was so ready to go and make money and my broker is not even here. So I know at the time I started paying for Zillow Premier Agent. So I started taking out a few buyers here and there and go out to see houses. And uh, as soon as Joey came back two weeks after January, the 1st of January, and then we started to work on a lot more deals and Joey gave me a few leads with like buyers. So I was out showing houses, you know, and every time when he has a listing, buyer wants to see his listing, he will let me go and show the buyer. So. My first week was very busy and I was still kind of lost like a chicken with the head cut off, cut off and I was like running around, I have no idea what I was doing. And four months in with 2018, I started close my first ever deal and you guys will not believe it. It was actually a listing that, you know, I paid the Zillow Premier agent. So they sent me a seller lead and I went to meet the seller at a time. And my first ever house that I sold was a $30,000 house in North Philly. And I had to bring Victor in with me because I was scared by myself. 
and the person who signed the listing agreement doesn't even speak English, he speaks Spanish. That's why I have Victor with me. So we signed that deal and then we actually closed it in two months. Well, we, we actually closed it in one month because it was a cash deal, somebody paid cash. And my first ever commission check was $2,000. And I was like, oh my God, that's it. You know, this is where it all begins. This is how it all started. So it's very, a lot of struggles, a lot of obstacles and difficulties. And I was so lost, but honestly, now when I think back about it, you know, the three moves that I have made in the past really kind of determines what direction that I want to be going. And, you know, I just, yeah, I like, I would not change a thing. Oh my god, I can't believe it's 10 minutes already. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'm going to close out the video right here as a part one. And in the part two of the video, I will share with you guys my five tips that can help you go through the whole process. Um, so, if you watch until this far, make sure you comment fortune cookie down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!